So, if I know where my child is, then it's, it's a peace of mind, rather than not knowing what is going on, what's happening to the child, if, it's, if she's alive or she's not alive. So, why would anybody ever think that a girl child cannot have an education for everything? That is devilish. It is beyond us. It has come beyond us. We've had several attacks. We've made several attempts to be able to get hold of these people, and nothing has been done about it. So, if Americans being a superpower come to to be, even if people are doing whatever reasons, the human mind is the human mind is more important than any other resources. I mean, these are children. I'm a mother. I have a daughter as well. How would I feel if my daughter is taken away from me? God forbid. But at the end of the day, it's not about the fact that the America coming in for one thing or the other, but the fact to fight the cause which we all fight, which is terrorism. If the British wants to come, France, any country can come as long as we get those girls back. Whatever support we can get from foreign bodies is good. If you go on the internet, you see people from different parts of the world who are saying bring back our girls, don't sell our girls. So I mean, if we're doing ours in Lagos, it shows that we are one in Nigeria. We are not divided. Lagos have to stand up and show support. I think every state should do the same. We all should stand up and show support. And so these people would know that they cannot tear us apart. Well, it's a mass, it's a nationwide protest that Women Arise for Change initiative is starting. And by uh, Thursday, I will be in Kaduna to address uh, a rally. So, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, is going to be held in Enugu. Wednesday, Lokoja. Thursday, Onicha and Kaduna. We're also got, going to have uh, in uh, Jigawa. But ultimately, ultimately, apart from women threatening that they will go naked, I'm telling you that Chigbo is not far from us. We still go there. But is nationwide uh, protest. Bring back our girls. That is the slogan. And we stand by it. This is why we're here now today. This is why I'm part of it. That we should go out and they should see that we all condemn it. Bring back our girls. But this is why you have a government. The government must act immediately. The government must act immediately to, first of all, people are even doubting that these girls were kidnapped. People are saying it is a conspiracy to bring down Jonathan's government. The government must come out. Is it a conspiracy? It is a conspiracy. Arrest the culprits. They carry them go where we don't know. And we steal them for how they jump. Because you did not be your own child. I mean, I lie you the time. This war went there for guns, so now everybody war. We must act now because we will not allow anybody to use any religion to divide us. This is not a religious matter. Oh yes. People must know their rights. We want our children back Please help these children. 
But perhaps the point I think that I should just add is that Chibok is a very dark experience for our nation. It is a difficult time for our nation. But it may yet be our most defining moment. I agree. And it will be defining if we can find the children. It will be defining if after that happens, we can keep this sense of brotherhood and sisterhood alive. Many nations have turned for greatness when they have faced dark times like this. And the sense of brotherhood, the sense of commitment, where ethnicity and religion really does not matter anymore, is the sense that we should go forward with after Chibok. And that is why I say it may yet be our most defining moment. The moment that finally unites us and eliminates all our fault lines as a people. That said, I thank you very much. I will deliver this letter.